boom. And I'm gonna take a bite of this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel at the Tessie R1. On today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to eat raw honeycomb. I have two different types of raw honeycomb here, and I'm gonna be showing you its uses, its benefits uh, for skin, for body, for detox. Take a look at it. Yep, absolutely freaking awesome. So stick around as we get into it. So what is raw honeycomb? Um, well, honeycomb is essentially beeswax produced by young adult bees. The beeswax is apparently made in the abdomen of these bees. And interestingly, only the female worker bees can produce this particular beeswax. Okay? Um, what's also interesting is that this beeswax actually forms hexagonal cells. Um, so hexagonal cells which act like storage vessels for raw honey and for the queen to lay its eggs and its larva and some of the elements of royal jelly which fall into these hexagonal cells. How awesome is that? So let's talk about some of the benefits of raw honeycomb before we move into how to eat the honeycomb in different ways. We can use it in hot drinks and we can use it in food. Check this out. So, Honeycomb is great as a cough aid. So if you have a little bit of a cold or if your baby has a little bit of a cold, your child, you want to put a little drop of honey into whatever they're drinking, whatever they're eating, or just a half a teaspoon per day. And the agents in the um, raw honeycomb should help reduce the cough. Raw honey actually has an active ingredient called propolis. And what propolis does is it's actually an antimicrobial, an antifungal ingredient which fights infections. So if you have a viral infection or you're fighting viruses, raw honey is a powerful antioxidant and a powerful fighter if you're fighting um, any inf infection, whether it's viral or uh, bacterial. So you can also use raw honey for skin. Uh, Manuka honey in particular is used as an amazing agent for fighting acne, anti-aging, healing burns, healing any cuts, any wounds. You can actually take a little bit, apply it to your wound and cover it with a bandage. So it's a great healing agent if you need something that's natural and you don't want anything from the pharmacy or that's manufactured in a factory. This is raw and from nature and I will trust it because I've used it and you guys should give it a shot as well. Honey is also used as a natural sweetener. So if you're struggling with diabetes and you're watching your sugar intake or you're on a diet, this is amazing instead of packing on the calories with white sugar, which is refined and processed. Give it a shot. So how we eat this, the first one, ooh, take a bite. Mmm. What I wanted to show you was, there's actually a white waxy element. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I'm gonna have a bite of that. Ooh. Quite messy. But it's chewy. It oozes with raw honey. Oh my god. It just is really sweet. I mean, think of baklava, that beautiful dessert that richness of the pure honey coming through and then you get the waxy element and it's quite chewy it's like gum you just keep chewing and once the honey dissipates or dissolves into your mouth you're pretty much left with and this might look disgusting but it's like a, a white gum mm. sorry I know this is quite disgusting. Look at that. It's a white gum. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. But it's a waxy element. And you can actually eat the whole thing. I'm just not. This of the beeswax. So what I'm going to do is just break a piece. Ooh. As you guys can see. Boom. And I'm going to take a bite of this. And you can see, my word is, this is sweeter than that. It's got this beeswax, but it's so sweet. Like, it really is like a block of sugar. 
So how do we use this in our practical daily life? So here I've got a cup of tea, okay? Any tea will do. And what I'm gonna do is, generally you just take a scoop of your honey or even a, a piece of that honeycomb and drop it in. Let it drop in. Bingo. And then mix it in. So you will get lumps of the beeswax, but trust me, remember all the goodness and the antioxidants and the fighting potential and the propolis ingredient is in the tea. Oh my God. It's absolutely delicious. So what I'm gonna do is have a sip. Oh my God. It's so soothing. It's so delicious and it's so calming. So I would put it in my tea. You can even put it in a hot drink like coffee or turmeric latte or a green matcha latte, any of your superfoods. That's a brilliant idea. So give it a shot. And don't be scared if you see the hexagonal cells sprinkled around or the beeswax. It's good for you. You can eat it and your body will digest it. Awesome. Another tip is if you've got some toast or bread in the mornings as a snack. So you can literally take some of the honey and you can put it over a nice hot toast or you can have it on a scone or an English muffin if you'd like. And oh, I'm messing a bit, but put it on and give it a shot. Mmm. Very good. Very freaking good. Tasty. With this one, you can cut it into cubes, serve it as, you know, with your tea or your matcha as a little tree, um, as a little treat. The raw honey best for baking is the other one. You can bake, you can make some banana date bread, you can do some blueberry muffins, but it's got that raw honey goodness and it's good for your body. So give it a shot. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I love honey. If I could harvest my own, I probably would. Um, I think raw honey is such an undervalued uh, commodity. It really is. If you find the real deal from your local farm or from a really good health store, I think you're onto a winning formula. Raw honey, if it's really done well and it's the authentic one, is a little bit more expensive than the diluted forms you find in your pharmacies or your normal grocery store. So give it a shot. Again, if you like my content, click the like, subscribe button to my channel. Um, and let me know your thoughts. Let me know which honeycomb you've tried, which ones you liked, which ones you didn't like. Let me know your thoughts.